Aloha, good morning. Today we are going to talk about what you need to do to get people real when you are presenting your product, service, or opportunity to them. When you are dealing with people, here is something that you have to remember. And even you as a person being presented to is we all want to own, have something, <laughs> but none of us want to spend the money and separate with our money to have it. You know, we would like to have it, but we really don't want to spend the money. Hey guys, good morning. Aloha from beautiful Kauai. I'm Johan Van Arley, and uh, we empower entrepreneurs and help them find other opportunities. We help you and them to recruit more leaders into their organizations and companies by code by our products and by coaching um, and our branding and marketing strategy coaching. And we also offer virtual assistant services so you can outsource all the busy work. Um, so that you can focus on the things that's most important, like recruiting or managing your business or whatever it is that you do best in your business. And so we need to put ourselves in a position to be open to that. And your job as a presenter is to get people to be open to that, but also to become real if there's a genuine need or a want. And there's two very big differences between needs and wants. But the topic today is really about what you have to do to be successful in your presentation, um, especially those of you on Facebook. So what is it that you have to do? Well, the three things that I say that you have to do is that you have to um, get real with them. Um, you have to move the people emotionally and you have to do a takeaway. And getting real is, you know, of course, you've got to establish rapport, you've got to build trust. And you've got to match your product service opportunity to your client's needs and do what is most important for them. And as I mentioned in my video earlier this week, if you do that, you won't have to have commission breath because if you take care of the client and get them what they want or need, um, then it automatically, the, the, the money automatically follows. Um, so, but you have to get people real. You know, sometimes we are not real with ourselves when we are being presented to, because we're either afraid we give too much away or we don't realize what it is that we really need. So you, you need to get them real and say, okay, let's be real. Is it really this or will it be more like this, right? Um, whatever the situation is. Let's say people talk about how much they want a vacation. Um, they say, well, we do about two weeks a year. And it's like, are you really doing two weeks a year? Or is it more that you're doing a week or 10 days a year? Um, is it more a want of wanting to do two weeks a year? And are you willing to spend the extra money and make the extra time to do that? Whether, and this is just an example, guys, this is applicable to anything. The second thing is you have to do a takeaway. You've got to take it away a little bit. Once you let them realize that uh, what it is that they need and what they need to get real with, do a takeaway and say, I don't care if you purchase or not because I do well. And that is how it is with me. Um, because the more you are not attached to it, the more people want what you have and what they cannot have. So take it away from them a little bit. You know, if somebody tells you something halfway a story and then stops talking and says, no, 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 I'm not telling you want to know, the, <laughs> you want to know the difference, right? You want to know what, what the, what the rest of the story is. So that's that's just such a powerful tool to take it away and it makes people realize if they really want it or not because if you do a takeaway and people don't come to you uh, from that then it's really not that important to them so we talked about getting real we we talked about doing a takeaway and then we're also talk and talk a little bit about moving people emotionally you've got to get people emotionally attached to what they want or need. Whether it's a want or a need, two big differences. Um, a need is an absolute must. Um, um, a need could be you have to um, have electricity in your house. 
and are you selling the better electricity and uh, will you save the money um, then that is a need that you are fulfilling a want is more like um, get me a pass to go to um, Ruth Chris Steakhouse or something like that um, but if that is important to a person and that's fun and enjoyment for them and what makes them tick and reward them for their hard work then you need to tap into that and help people to connect with their own feelings and look all of this none of this is a trick uh, so to speak to get people to purchase it is to help people and to help them connect because our jobs our presenters are to help people connect emotionally to what they need or want do a little takeaway so they can reach back out to you it's just a very powerful tool don't be ever shy or hesitant to use that and just get people real about what it is that they really want or is it just wishful thinking so guys that was it that I had for you for today um, I, I would really really encourage you to um, listen to this video over and over again and really get to deal with um, the, the three things to get real to do takeaways um, and to emotionally connect people um, when you are doing a presentation and if you have a video presentation you better make sure that your video presentation does that as well and in anything that you work with people those are just powerful tools and look I'm in sales I've been in sales a long time I do vacation ownership sales I'm a network marketer I'm a branding and marketing coach and when I was purchasing my truck and the guy said to me oh no no you don't need that you can rather have this one it's like no I want that one you know and um, I know what he's doing but it is that made him realize no I really want the blue one and not the white one for example um, and that made me realize, yes, I really want the blue one and not the white one, and I'll be willing to spend more money for it. So take care. Have a beautiful Friday. Take care. Aloha. God bless. You can find more great branding, marketing, and prospecting tips just like these over at johanvenardi.com. And remember to pick up a free copy of his daily four-step Aloha Laptop Lifestyle Cheat Sheet. We'll see you over there.